Hello, 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 Budget Kings and Queens. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Budgets with Elma, and today we are doing my budget for paycheck number two. And as you can see, my voice has changed. Okay, if you did not know the name of my channel, you probably would be thinking, who is this doing this video? All right. <laughs> Even I was surprised when I woke up today and I was like, wait a minute, what happened to my voice? For some reason, my voice was groggy and yeah, my voice got deeper. I was like, hold up. Hopefully you guys will be able to hear me as I do my budget for paycheck number two. But in the comments below, let me know how your day went. And number two, let me know who do I sound like, okay? Because my kids have been making jokes all day. Mom, you sound like this person, that person. Um, it just being funny about it. So hopefully you guys can hear me and I would love to read in the comments who my voice sounds like. Maybe in another video, my voice might be even deeper. Oh my gosh. Um, hope I get better guys very soon. Pray for me. I will be drinking tea, of course, um, with a lemon and nothing cold just to see if my throat can get a little bit better. But in the meantime, I couldn't let that stop me from doing my budget. Even though when life be lifing and you get a little sick, you still have to do what you need to do and take care of those expenses. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how I am going to be doing my budget. And this time around, I am going to be doing a bare bone budget. What does that mean? I am going to use the money that I have coming in without adding any extra income coming in to do the budget and just keeping it simple. No roll over, no adding of what's in the bank or anything like that. Just straight bone, dry income, main income that is coming in from my nine to five and making a budget and seeing how I can actually do it. Okay. And planning out what I'm going to do with the money I get paid for the upcoming paycheck and doing the plan here today and sharing with you how I am going to break down that money I get in. Okay. So that is what we're going to do in today's video. All right. And I hope you enjoy it. And let me know, have you already done your budget for paycheck number two or if you've done it for paycheck number three, depending on if you get paid weekly or if you budget biweekly or if you budget monthly. So let me know that in the comments below. How do you budget? All right. Based on your family income and how much you bring in. All right. So how much are you working with or which method do you use to do your budget when doing it okay so let me know that in the comments below all right i am just making my kids um adjust the volume on the tv because they did have it on so that way you can hear me because the way my voice is all right so let's get started all right so as i mentioned we are going to be doing a bare okay bone budget, right? I'm going to use just the basics of what I have coming in. All right. And hopefully you can see everything. All right. Oh, there we go. There we have it. Again, this is for my paycheck. Number two for May. 2024. All right. So I hope you can see that in frame. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use this again and we're going to go ahead and write income. Again, remember, I am using just the basics of my regular nine to five income, and that is always sixteen hundred after my job deducts all my deductibles such as health, dental, um, insurance, um, any taxes, anything like that, you know, for Medicare, Medicaid, um, all the taxes that the government typically takes when you get paid. And so I just working with what I have, the basics, and that is 1600. I am not doing any rollover and keeping it nice and simple. All right. So let's begin. I'm going to go ahead and put my fixed expenses. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and do it like that. All right, and let me do the same thing for the top. There we go. So you can see everything in frame. So for my fixed expenses, the following expenses that I have left to take care of uh, for paycheck number two is my cell phone. 
okay? And that is going to be 125 for a family plan of four, all right? My oldest, she has her own cell phone plan. And so this will take care of my hubby and my two younger kids and me, okay? The next expense that I have will be my Xfinity, all right? And that is my cable and internet combined. And that will be for 137 the next expense that I have is my HOA half, all right? And I like to split that into the split method, which means whenever I have an expense that's super large, in order to have more money to work with each pay period, I like to split it in half and save it in my bill account. And then when I get paid again, I save the other half and then I make that full payment. So already in paycheck number one, I took care of half of the HOA of $100. And now I'm adding the other $100 to add that in. The next thing I'm going to be adding is my electric. Okay. And that is going to be totaling $154. And then we have um, we're going to have my Amazon, okay, Amazon Prime, and that is for eight, okay? And then last but not least, I have a couple of subscriptions, okay, television subscriptions. There are too many to write down, so I'm just going to put them all in in one, all right? And that total, I just rounded up to 30, okay? So once I add all those up, let me add that here so you can see. And I hope you can hear okay with my voice. And that is 125 plus 137 plus 100 plus 154 plus 8 plus 30 equals 5. Let me make sure because I feel like there's something that should be there. Let's see. Okay. Yes, I see what it is. Let me add it right up here and that is, let me put it on the top and that is my State Farm. Okay, and for the State Farm, I am paying additional fee. Um, they did call me and say that my plan has increased just for this month. I don't know why, but it's just an additional amount from my regular amount that I pay. So that is totaling 26. All right, so I already have 554. I'm now gonna add the 26. And there we have it. All right, so that gives me a total of 580 for my fixed expenses. Just the FYI, even though I am a zero-based budgeter, a cash stuffer, for my fixed expenses, I am a hybrid budgeter. What does that mean? I not only do budgeting and pay some of my fixed expenses and variable expenses when time needed on a card, which means either my debit card or my credit card. So these fixed expenses, I never pull them out to cash stuff in cash envelopes. I always leave them in my bill account. And when they are due, the company's automatically deducted out of that account. All right. And when I do my cash stuffing on my channel, I simply cash stuff my cash envelopes and any mini saving, long-term savings, or any um, sinking funds, I cash stuff those on my channel. Just the FYI. So I am a hybrid uh, budgeter, okay? So just to let you know. Okay, so now that we have the 580, okay, I'm now going to move to my groceries, all right, which are my cash envelopes, which is one of the categories within that. All right, so right here, I'm going to write cash envelope, okay? And I'm abbreviating it. Okay, and there we have it. For the specific category, the envelopes that I typically cash stuff, and again, this year varies from person to person, not only your categories, but also the amounts that you put in here. For me, for my family of five, I always like to stick to these specific ones. So we're going to go with family, personal, okay, groceries, because we have to eat, of course, gas, eating out, and there's different ones that I add depending on the pay period and what I have going on in my life, but for this time around, um, eating out and home, okay, which is our toiletry one, okay, if we need anything 
we can pull from here, such as paper towels, napkins, soap, lotion. That comes from that category. All right, so for the family category, I am doing uh, $20 for if my kids need anything. I'm putting $20 for myself. I'm putting $200 for groceries as always. Every time I get paid, I do that. No matter how tight the budget may be, I know that this will comfortably help me and my family have money to buy groceries, whether we spend $100 per week or whether we do one large big shopping. But I know $200 should help us um, stick to the two-week budget. And if we have to go over or purchase more, my husband does cover groceries and he does buy other things that... Um, that he may like and we don't add to the groceries when we're shopping. So he does chip in in that aspect. But when I get paid myself, I always take out 200, okay? Bi-weekly. For my gas, I am putting 50. For eating out, I am putting this time around 40, all right? Which means $20 per week, okay? And it all depends if I need to eat out or not. Um, but if I grocery shop well, I will eat out less. So it all depends. And then for home toiletries, I am putting 20 in that category. So when I add this specific category here, budget kings and queens, we have the following. Oh, my bad. Okay. So $20 for family, $20 for personal, $200 for groceries, $50 for gas, all right, which that's going to go in my pumpkin's car, my oldest, since we're sharing a car, and um, $20 for home and toiletries. That gives me a total for this specific section, guys, $350 as all of these categories. Now we're going to go ahead and move into my favorite category of all, and that is my my savings, all right, which is paying ourselves first. All right, so savings, and that is paying ourselves first. Sorry, that's my mom calling me on the line, but I'm recording, so I'll have to call her back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for the specific category here, uh, paying ourselves first. Um, by the way, with this one here, I always like to um, make sure that I do the following categories. Okay, for this one here, I'm going to do for the savings, I'm going to do my emergency fund. Okay. And for that one there, I am putting $20. The next thing that I'm going to put is for my mini slash long-term challenges. Okay. I am budgeting $100, guys. All right. Because I have a certain amount that I have to cash up in order to reach my end of year goal. Okay. The next category that I have, I am doing the hop savings that has been created by Donna and uh, Mama Bear that everybody's doing um, as they're doing hops from different channels who are part of it. And we're saving as a community. So for the hop savings, all right, I am doing... 36 that is six dollars times three per week and then you times that amount by two that gives me 36 so 18 per week and then when you times it by two because i get paid bi-weekly that gives me 36 and then also i want to save in my group play okay and that is a total of 64 dollars so when i do that one that gives me one hundred dollars okay all right make sure i'm doing that correctly yes 100 and then this one is when so we're gonna do total and that gives me when we add everything up so that's 100 200 
and 20. So 120 to go into our savings, okay? Which is helping me when I do my mini challenges or all the challenges that you see me cash stuffing on my channel. I always budget for them. I am a low income budgeter, but I try to make my money stretch and I plan everything that comes in. That was prior to even starting this YouTube channel. I made sure that what I bring in, I hit those goals that I'm trying to achieve. Of course, now being a budgeter and a content creator, I have mastered it somewhat and I'm very happy and blessed from where I am now to where I was when I first started. So for my savings category, paying myself first, right? Paying ourselves first. You have to have this in your budget, guys. And most importantly, you want to always save for the emergency fund before the year is up based on your budget, okay? So again, these are the categories that I am going to be doing for my savings, all right? So that is a total of 120. Now I'm gonna go into my debt, all right? Any debt or extra expenses that I have that are not fixed expenses, but are things that I have to take care of as well. And they're non-negotiable, which means I can't say I'm not gonna do it. I gotta do them, okay? So one of the things are my student loans, okay, and my credit cards. I like to put these all together as a one and pay them towards the end of the month because typically they're all due around that time. And when I add both of those categories up, that totals $300 in that category. And I always like to put some money in my toll fee all right, because I do take the turnpike to get from and to go to work because I work far. And that gives me a total of 50 for that category, okay, for my toll fee. Now, when I add all those up, all right, that gives me a total of 350 that I have in my debt slash extra category. All right, and then last but not least, I also have a buffer, all right? And a buffer is just an account that you have um, or a category that you have based on what's left over. You can put it in here. It could either be in your bill account or it could be an account you have on the side because I always want to zero base budget my account, making sure that everything that I bring in has a place, has a purpose. And then of course, um, has a job. And then at the end, I want to zero out my account, which means I gave everything something to do, right? Something to take care of. So what I'm going to do now is go from based on my income, minusing all these expenses will then let me know my buffer and then will let me know my income versus my expenses. Okay. Equals um, two. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that now. And then I should be done with doing my budget. All right. And let me know, have you done a bare bone budget yourself? Okay. Or what kind of budgeter are you? Are you a budgeter that's the 50, 30, 20? Are you a zero base budgeter? Are you a budgeter that does a um, split method? Are you a budget that, budgeter, excuse me, that does bare bone budget? Are you a budgeter that simply does it digitally and nothing on paper? Are you a budgeter that does the reverse budgeting? Okay, are you a budgeter? There's so many different types and different types work for different people. So put that in the comments below to let me know which one you are. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys, I was about to cough, but it stopped midway. All right, so let's see. I have 1,600, all right, as my income. I'm minusing my fixed expenses of five. 80, which this always stays in the bank, just the FYI, budget kings and queens. All right. And that leaves me 1,000. That leaves me a balance of $1,020. Okay. Left after I minus it from here. When I minus my cash envelopes of 350. That gives me 670 left after pulling my cash envelope stuffing. When I minus my savings of 120, that gives me a total of 550 left over in my income, all right, to work with. When I minus my debt slash extra expenses 
of 350. That gives me a total of $200 left, okay, in my budget. All right, and let me make sure nothing has gone out. So this section, let's see, one, two, okay, 100, 200, 220. Okay, this should have been 220 budget kings and queens. I knew something felt off. All right, so let me go back to here where I got to my cash envelope. All right, that I had 670 after taking my cash envelopes. I'm now going to minus my savings category of 220. That gives me 450. Now we're talking. Now when I minus my four from my 450, my debt, okay, of 350. That gives me a total of $100 left. Yes, it's not making sense. And then with that $100, I know that I'm going to put that for my buffer, which means this will stay in my account just in case my fixed expenses are more than what I'm budgeting for or if something happens that I need some extra funds, okay? And so now when I minus my buffer amount from what I have left over, that gives me a zero base budget. So 1600 of my income, okay, minus 1600 of my expenses gives me a zero based budget, okay, just how I like it. And I just wanted to show you how it is to work doing a bare bone budget with working with just the minimum of what you have in when not adding anything extra any extra income and seeing in seeing how you make it work based on what you bring in. With that being said, my name is Budgets with Alma and I'll see you on another video.